In today's video, we're going to make a beaded crochet coin purse with beads that remind me of sea glass. This is a really sturdy coin purse that'll hold up in your bag. Let's get started. So I'm going to use this color red, a bunch of different colors like blues and the white. So I'm going to just start putting these in my bead spinner. I'm going to need a ton of beads, so this probably isn't even enough beads. Alright, so I'm just going to randomly see what a spinner brings me. First set of beads, I think it looks really nice. Got all my beads strung, and now I'm going to just crocheting a circle. I want the circle to be the circumference of this, so I'm going to start with 6, 12, 18, 24, and so on until I get to this circumference. So I'm beginning my magic ring with the beads. The first six stitches can be a little weird in the ring because the beads are going to kind of slide all over the place but just know when you close that ring the beads need to be facing away from you so there's my six and i'm just kind of pushing the beads away from me i'm going to begin closing that magic ring i'm not going to close it completely yet though just because these beads are going to want to flip outside and now I'm going to start doing my increases. I'm going to do an increase and then a single crochet. So here we are six rounds in. I'm gonna just keep going. Still have a ways to go until I meet the circumference of this clasp. So now I've finished my series of increases. I went up to 12 single crochets. So now that I have this at a width that I'm happy with, I'm just going to go around doing single crochets with no increases until I get this to a length that I want. So at this point, I've done four rounds of no increases and I've run out of beads. So I want to show you what to do when this happens. It's really easy. I'm just going to cut my thread and leave a long tail, which can be woven in later. So I'm just going to put that aside for now. I've got my beads. I don't have enough beads to really be able to use the bead spinner. So instead, I have a bead needle and I'm just going to have to do this the old fashioned way. I'm just going to put as many beads as I can. It's a little hard to see because I'm standing over this. And I'm just going to put all these beads on my thread and I will get back to you when they're all on there. I've restrung all my beads on this new strand. And I'm also going to just add one more bead to the tail that I cut from the original thread. I'm just going to put that one right there just so that I can complete this stitch. I'm going to pull that bead all the way down. I have this bead just as I always do. I'm going to do this just the way that you always do a beaded single crochet. I brought the bead all the way down. I'm going to insert my hook into the next stitch. Yarn over. And with the new tail that I have with all my new beads attached, I'm going to leave a long tail. And I'm going to use this to complete that stitch. I'm just inserting, pulling that into my hook. Pull that through and it's going to be loose for a moment. I'm going to do my next single crochet. Pull down a bead. It's always loose in the beginning, which is fine. And complete that single crochet. Now I'm just going to tighten my tails. And I'm just going to continue doing my single crochets as I was before. You can tie a knot where those two threads join, which I'm probably going to do in a moment once everything kind of evens out. And 
then I'm going to continue going around. I did eight rounds of no increases and now I need to bring this in a bit. I'm going to do two single crochet and a decrease all the way around. I'm not going to do an invisible decrease. I'm just going to do a regular one just because the bead is in the way. I'll just bring up those loops and pull this through. Okay, so there's the decrease. And then I'm going to do two single crochets again and a decrease. So we're up to our last round with the beads. And I'm going to do four beaded single crochets and a decrease. And that'll bring us down roughly to the number of stitches we need for the width of the kiss clasp. If you don't have four stitches at the very end, just do however many stitches you have and end with a decrease. I went around and did my decreases. I'm going to go around one more time with the beads with no decreasing. I'm just going to do a single crochet with a bead in every single stitch just to get a little more length on this. Now I'm going to single crochet in every stitch around without any beads. I'm going to do two rounds of just these plain single crochets so that I have enough length for this to get through the channel of the clasp. We're up to the last step. I'm going to cut a very long tail that I'm going to use to attach the kiss clasp with. I'm sorry, I'm losing my voice a little bit. Secure this end by pulling the tail through this loop. Inside, I had crocheted over these tails where I had done the join, so I'm just gonna trim that tail. I'm not going to do a lining on this because this is very tightly woven and nothing is gonna fall through it. Now I'm going to use a fairly short and skinny needle. You have to make sure that it will fit through the holes of the clasp. So I'm gonna thread this. And this is just kind of fiddly, so I'm gonna just back stitch this one stitch because I want to go right to left. So just line up the first stitch with the first hole and then it will slowly these tabs will start slipping inside the kiss clasp. So I went all the way around and the way I ended up doing this, I had to do it off camera because I needed to be able to see this very clearly. I went through one side, then I went through the back so that I had a stitch on every single hole of the kiss class. Where the seams are here, I skipped three stitches and three stitches and just wove the thread along so that I could continue on the other side. So now I'm just going to secure this end off with a knot. Now I'm just going to weave in this tail and there's the coin purse completed. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you make this project, please let me know. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe. Bye-bye.